Welcome back everyone. Our last guest works tirelessly to get young people engaged and excited about filmmaking. Please welcome John Morrison of the California Film Institute. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay. I don't know if I'm tireless. Tireless. <laughs> yes. Well, you do. You do a lot of work with young people. Yeah. You just finished your summer program. And now what? And now, now we, you know, we, we never stop. So you know, it was a much more busy summer than I've ever had because I took a trip to Croatia with two students to, to go to a, um, a children's animation workshop. So in Croatia. In Croatia, wow. yes, yeah, in which we, we were invited and mm -hmm. so forth, and we through Bellum storage we were funded and so forth and, uh, uh, and it was a great experience but it you know started my summer off with a bang and then right. now I'm now we're just we've just moved off all the courses in the summer and we're into uh, festival season and yes. also uh, a Mill Valley Film Festival that is and also school season you know where I we do tons and tons of stuff during the school yeah, season. Yeah so tell me about some of the workshops. Well the, the workshops classes. during the summer mm -hmm. anyways are, are, are um, Everything from uh, a behind the scenes, which teaches kids about uh, um, all kinds of filmmaking, uh, including um, even stunt people, makeup, sound, directing, acting, right. the whole gamut. Um, and then we move from there into a, uh, um, a, a critical thinking mm -hmm. course that has them actually peer jurying our youth reel during Mill Valley Film Festival mm. and then into an animation workshop which we did separately with some of the same kids but not all. Do you find that a lot of kids maybe they start off saying I want to be an actor, I want to yeah. be an actress and then they figure wait a second mm -hmm. I want to write. Yeah they see a lot of different stuff and mm -hmm. you know a lot of the stuff in the movie business that's not you know first line credits um, right. can sometimes be quite interesting. And you really uh, focus on at-risk and underserved kids. We do. That's one of my favorite programs, well, a couple of my favorite programs. And one of them is my, um, <laughs> I don't even know the name of the program, even though I've been doing it for <laughs> 10 years, uh, My Place, My Story. Um, and it's a, a very, very uh, intimate, uh, personal um, digital filmmaking program. Actually, I prefer to call it a storytelling program. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's very empowering for a lot of these at-risk kids. And, um, and they, they, they land up at the end of five days. They come in with no idea what they're going to do. Right. And they, they end up at the end of the five days with their own three to five minute film mm -hmm. about a personal experience or you know or their thoughts on some aspect of their life and some of these have been used in the um, in the communities they come from mm -hmm. as community building tools yeah it's amazing they're able to express their creativity yeah in yeah. a way that maybe they never they never had access to that I remember I was driving a couple of kids and I remember on, on the way to one after the second day because we spend a lot of the t first two days on storytelling because mm -hmm. they don't know a story arc really, a lot of them don't. And, um, and I said, how is your film coming? And, and the young woman said, film? And I said, yeah. <laughs> she said, we're making a film? And I said, yeah. And this she, is what it is. Well, her experience was, you know, making little films from her cell phone. And she right. didn't realize that you could make something a little bit bigger than that. Mm -hmm. yeah. A big so, production. A big production. Well, big production. Yeah. Right. right. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah. It, it is. is for them. Yeah. Right. That's, that's right. So, you know, I think one thing that, and we were talking about this earlier, one thing we forget is that when we think of film, we, you know, automatically these big blockbusters... Mm -hmm. blockbuster movies, mm -hmm. but there's a whole other world out there, independent films and foreign films. and I'm glad you mentioned that because that was the motivation for my starting that program. Mm -hmm. I saw films coming through for our youth reel for the festival that were imitation big films. And I said, gee, you know, these kids must have something better to tell about, you know, their own life sure. that they don't even know that they've got it in them, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and these festivals, they're coming up? Yeah, the Mill Valley Film Festival, October 2 to 12. Uh, we do probably, we probably run about 2,000 young people through the festival, uh, through different programs. Um, either bringing them into the Rafael Film Center uh, or the Lark Theater during the festival, or, or we um, go out into the schools. We send a lot of filmmakers out into the schools during the festival. And you focus primarily on youth, but you also are branching out into... Uh, teaching adults. We are. We have an intergenerational uh, program called Community Cinema. Um, uh, we, we work do that through ITVS and, uh, and uh, Independent Lens. And we mix in high school kids with uh, pretty much 
people my age, <laughs> or maybe even older. Which is young. Yeah, we're young. Yeah, it keeps me young, anyways. Um, and uh, it's really kind of interesting to see the difference in the questions that that people ask when they're when they when you have an intergenerational audience. Sure. Well, yeah. it sounds great. Good luck on this year and with all of the festivals coming up. Thank you. Should be great. Yeah. All right. And for more information on workshops and screenings with the California Film Institute, log on to cafilm.org. Again, that's cafilm.org. And that's it for this week. We'll be back next week with more Bay Area Focus. Have a great day.